Yeah. All right. scratch. This is what yeah. Per the script. Cue the tune down of the music. <laughs> they got louder in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I've got a thing in here. All right, it's, uh, well, it's after six, so we'll get started. My name's uh, Greg Hetrick. I'm going to kind of just give the quick uh, SEC IC intro. So uh, SEC IC is a, um, a formal chapter of SEC DSM. Uh, and we appreciate the SEC DSM guys making the drive this evening. Um, we are a, uh, a city sex and unaffiliated collection of informal meetups for like-minded security professionals. Uh, so we, we pretty much uh, fall in that. It's kind of a non-vendor, non-work setting, uh, and we like to drink. Uh, disclaimer, so this is an educational entity. We don't condone any illegal activity, utilizing any information presented at SEC IC, either during or outside of the meetings. Uh, we prefer you didn't. Uh, code of conduct, don't be an ass. Uh, SEC IC board members have final say what being an ass constitutes. Um, we, we will have uh, a formal safety officer coming forward, but for now, uh, if there are any issues, just come find one of us and, and you'll see all our ugly mugs here in a minute. <clears throat> sponsors for tonight. So we'd like to thank uh, Tech Systems. Uh, they're, they're our sponsor for tonight. They uh, brought us the pizza and, and some beers and wines. Um, also, Merge, the facility that we're in now, they allow us to use this uh, at no cost, uh, assuming we clean things up uh, and don't like burn the place down, I guess. Uh, so uh, check check both of those uh, organizations out, and we appreciate their, their support. Tonight's agenda. So, well, 6 o'clock. <laughs> 6 to 10, uh, Zach's going to give us some news, uh, some recent updates in the news. Uh, Mr. Brenton has a talk, uh, Memory Forensics with Volatility. I don't know how to say it with a pipe in the middle. But we'll just <laughs> uh, and then uh, Mr. DePape is going to talk about SPF, uh, discouraging spammers from spoofing your domain. And then at, at 8.30, well, maybe you, know, you can all go home. Uh, I think Matt's... I don't know how long Matt's talk is. Yours is about 40 minutes or so. 40, 50 minutes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> next month, kind of the same thing. Uh, we don't have uh, talks formally lined up, although, you know, we can always get one. But uh, if anybody's interested in giving a talk, doesn't have anything super long, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, if it's something new you're learning, something you're working on, a tool you're working with, you know, feel free to come up and uh, uh, give a talk about it. Just get a hold of one of us uh, on the Slack channel. would be a great way to do it. Email. we got more information here coming up. Uh, here's oh, here's uh, the board members, and they're all here somewhere around. <laughs> Say hi. Um, you can get us on our website, secic.org. Uh, that's our generic, super generic contact information. Um, we do have a Slack channel. We'll show you how to get to that in a second. We also have a Twitter handle that uh, is pretty active. And uh, pending 100 subscribers, this is our vanity domain for YouTube. <laughs> So now with YouTube, you have to have 100 subscribers before you get a vanity domain. Otherwise, it's like 100 characters long. So we just went around on that little problem. Slack. So last month, if anybody was here last month, you'll remember we had 50 people. We are up to 34 people on our Slack channel now, which is all of them. Uh, so you can go to Slack IC, uh, scroll down, or there's a Slack button at the top. Uh, sign up and uh, get you access. Upcoming meeting. So SEC DSM on Thursday. I know there's at least three of us going down. So if anybody wants to carpool, there's a ride sharing section on the Slack channel um, that you can meet up. We're going to meet at like, I mean, my car only holds four people. So one more of you want to join in. <laughs> We're going to meet at, that, at Walmart parking lot uh, in Coralville at like 3.30. Uh, otherwise, we can, you know, we, if somebody's got like an 18 passenger van or access to a bus and we all want to go we can certainly do that um sectius uh sec midwest uh the group up in cedar rapids they're at true north building uh kind of a downtown area uh their next meetup is the third uh tuesday the 13th is it the second tuesday of every month is that right yeah second tuesday of every month uh they had their first one last month we had a couple folks go up there and say it was good uh and then again next month sec dsm uh which is the third thursday of every month uh, actually before us because how the month falls and then our next sec IC meeting is here on the 20th 
Uh, there's also a link to Meetup Group. So this is a group that's been around for oh, about four years now. So we post any kind of thing that's going on. I know there's a, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, National CDC competition in Ames is the third. Mr. Pohl? Second. Second? Third? I think it's the Saturday. The no, Saturday. It is the third. Yeah. yeah. It's the, sat the first Saturday, Saturday in November. How's that? Well, February. Right, February. Yeah, November. Woo! <laughs> so that's on there, uh, and we'll probably have a ride sharing section. I don't know who all is going down uh, for that this month, but that'll be all on Slack to get on there. Upcoming conferences that uh, we know we're going to have people attending. B sides Iowa uh, is down in Des Moines at um, Grandview University. Starts 14th. The CFP is still open right now, so uh, a shameless plug. If anyone wants to submit a talk, we're still taking talks. Uh, there will be a CTF there. Uh, run by the folks at SecDSM. Uh, ThoughtCon, a bunch of us are going there. It's in Chicago, first part of May. Circle CityCon, first part of June in Indianapolis. There'll be a group going. Uh, and again, probably uh, room for room sharing, ride sharing, all those fun things. And again, another plug for Slack. Uh, Sec IC CTF team. So we're working on putting together uh, a formalized ish uh, CTF team. Uh, get a hold of Zach on the uh, Slack channel. There's, uh, there's some list of things that we know are coming. Um, the three, besides B-Side Iowa, those are all um, CDC events at Iowa State University, uh, which are a lot of fun. And then, of course, there'll be the one at B-Side that I mentioned. Uh, before we go on to the next few things, a uh, few quick items. Number one, the bathrooms are right through this wall. Uh, if anybody needs them, there's pizza outside, drinks back there. Um, we also have some swag, thanks to the SecDSM guys. We have patches. Available, uh, they're five bucks a piece. So if you want one of those, just come find one of us. Uh, they're pretty slick. We also have some stickers up on the front ta table. Feel free to take some. Anything else? Uh, I think that's it. Yeah. All right. Where's Where's Matt D at? You're up, buddy. Yep. Your and slide. <laughs> it's gonna go. Going around. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, as you can see, uh, this is pretty much um, where we were at last month. Uh, we didn't have to purchase a few more cables, uh, but we did have some people give us some donations uh, last time. So, we appreciate those. That really helps. And as you can see, we are still in the red a little bit. So, Buy a patch or do whatever. Donation bucket. Or donation bucket, which is right here. <laughs> <laughs> Drop a donation in. And, and one thing that was mentioned last month that uh, has been finalized now, we are a 501c3 public charity. So yeah. tax, to, tax deductible donations. And then also, if you don't, let's say you don't have any cash tonight, uh, you will be able to buy patches soon online, hopefully before the next meeting. So. Mr. Zaka, what's new? How do I do this on Forbeck? Forbeck. All right, Hacker News. Um, this is a fun one. <laughs> Not really hacker related, but Locksport. A, uh, well, you have a different layout than I do. Anyway, a uh, yeah. knockbox master key was found uh, after a gentleman wound up stealing uh, about $30,000 from a Dell charity uh, medical center. Uh, are you guys familiar with Knox boxes? Do you guys know how those work? Yeah, I see some head shakes. Um, so these knock boxes here, uh, fire and safety people have a master key for it, right? And these are set out front, uh, usually into the brick and mortar of the building. And they have uh, access keys for the building, typically for the entire building. So you have a master key for anything on the floor. So the dude in Austin, this is down in Austin, Texas. Uh, found a master key, it's kind of unclear yet because there hasn't been a trial, we're not sure what exactly happened, but came across a master key and gained access to about 6,000 buildings. Um, so Austin, downtown Austin is going absolutely nuts, trying to scramble and replace all these to the tune of about $300,000. So that was a fun one. Uh, WPA3, obviously this would be in here, right? Um, I don't know if you guys saw this yet, but uh, CES came up and uh, kind of gave some really vague outline of what's going on here. Uh, robust protections, quote unquote, for weak passwords. Uh, they say basically some protections against dictionary attacks, but we don't have any RFCs or anything on it yet. Uh, simplified configuration, this one's kind of fun. 
because again, they don't really have anything in the details quite yet that's released, but they do note that for things, uh, screenless devices and IoT, you'll be able to tap a device to it, like your phone and near field, all of the information that you need to set it up. So there's probably some fun stuff we can do with that in the near fields. Uh, WPA3, what was the third one? Four major changes here. Uh, every individual data, uh, data stream encryption itself. So when you go to like a Starbucks or an open WAP and you connect, even if it's not an encrypted one that you have a password for, right? There's no WAP or WPA protections or anything. It's gonna encrypt point to point from your machine without any password. So again, these are kind of sketchy. We have no details on them yet. These are just the major things that are changing. Uh, CNSA, uh, one, what is that, 192? I think it's 192, uh, encryption support as well. So for uh, government, military, business like that. Um, and of course, shall we play a game? Uh, ballistic missiles were not actually launched in Hawaii. Um, the threat was released at, I believe it was 8, 10 a.m. Yeah, it took them almost 40 minutes to renege it. So I don't know if anyone's ever been to Hawaii or knows much about it, but it's an island made out of lava. There's no bunkers. You can't really dig in lava well. So people were just going ape shit. They were just scrambling. Had no idea what to do for 40 minutes. Thought they were all dying. Pretty terrible. Um, Matt posted this one up here with the uh, the reply as to, I got 99 problems, but UX ain't one. Uh, picture was released today of what the UX actually was. It was a drop down menu on a web page. <laughs> so these are the two he was going for, right? Drill being Paycom. This is just a drill, pay no attention. What are you supposed to click? He clicked two up, just clicked the wrong button. Panicked everybody. Uh, this is a fun one down in, uh, where was this? Doondin in New Zealand. <laughs> um, kind of cheeky fun, not really fun to play on police lines. You know, it's not really legal or anything. Uh, but growing descent down, uh, down in New Zealand has uh, caused a, an anonymous hacker to take over the police uh, emergency system radios and played NWA's Fuck the Police three times on repeat. Played uh, NWA twice and then went with the Rage Against the Machine version. Um, again, I mean, you know, it's kind of cheeky fun, but people can get hurt, let's not do this. Um, the hijacking already caused some confusion and delayed responses to an apparent man waving a gun at a crowd. Nothing really ever came up, up of it though. Uh, the police have, have confirmed as best they can that it's not coming from police radio equipment. They say all their stuff is present and accounted for, and they don't believe that somebody could just go to a market and get something similar because the batteries are hard to source. So, but yeah, you know, it, cheeky fun, but very illegal. Obligatory slide, melt bandit vector. We'll skip right over this. Are there any questions on melt bandit vector? <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> um, but no joking. So this is our kind of suicide awareness slide. Uh, we lost Jamie Cochran uh, earlier last week and James Dolan. Uh, both were very young people and both were huge members of our community. Uh, Dolan worked uh, on Secure Drought. Uh, Jamie Cochran of the Wrestle League, I don't know if you guys know or not, at Flags on, uh, on the Twitters, the Psychedelic Hackers. Um, she was really fun. But you know, there's a lot of a lot of mental illness, a lot of suicide in our, our industry, particularly. So pay attention to it. You know, talk to people. If you need need help, reach out. There's local and national resources. But, you know, this is a community. This is what we're here for, right? To help each other out and support. So keep eyes. That's all. And then jobs. Anybody hiring? Firing? Looking? <laughs> yeah. Firing. Yeah. 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 Feel free to jump yeah. Names as well would be great. Yeah, so it's just time. We'll take a few minutes. If anybody's got jobs uh, posted coming up, we had several last month. Yeah. What are we looking for? We have a couple engineering positions open at ProCircular that we're looking to fill. And then we have a security, uh, what are we calling it? Not analyst. Uh, auditor. But auditor there. Uh, risk assessment and yeah. more of the operational type. And then interns. Interns. The University of Iowa just announced today uh, we've got four positions or up to four positions available in the security operations team. It's a combined team for both the university and the hospital. Uh, analysts, architects, it's all level positions. So check that out on jobs.uiru.edu. 
And the, the link for that one has been posted in the, the jobs channel in the Slack IC Slack. Oh, hey, look, another plug for the Slack channel. There is the jobs <laughs> channel in Slack. In case you haven't heard, we have a Slack. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, 34. 34. Well, 34 when I made the slide, which was like two, three days ago. So. 44? Come on. We'll take a little bit of a break. This is time. You know, mingle, get to talk to people, kind of network. Uh, you know, eat pizza, drink beer. We do have a couple books we'll give away. I've got like some uh, like nerdy hacker trivia. I'll get one away right before Matt's eat each of the Matt's talks. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah. So I got this. I got black hat Python and gray hat C sharp. That will uh, work away. What's that? Thirty eight. Brush up on oh thirty eight. Awesome. So brush up on. Uh, the, the Matrix trivia and Hackers, the movie trivia. That's that's where I'm going to get my questions from. So, anyway, so we'll take a little break and enjoy some chatting. <laughs>